Hey everybody, so my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter babies, okay, for the month of November 2019. So let us see what is going on with you guys, okay, and yes, you did just see me open Pandora's box. <laughs> what is going on with you guys, shall we? <laughs> So we have some automatic writings here that I did. So it says, you can do anything you believe you can do. It's not about what anyone other than you believes about you. Angel number 555. So you can do anything you believe you can do. It's not about what anyone other than you believes about you. Angel number 555. This lets me know that you guys are about to go through some really big shifts in your life. Like, huge shifts in your life, okay? And I feel like if anybody has been around you saying negative things, you know, all of the naysayers, what you can do, what you can't do, etc. And it could have something to do with caring connections. It could also have something to do with your spiritual path of, you know, enlightenment or what have you. People just have opinions. But their opinions are just that. Opinions. That has nothing to do with you and how you feel about it yourself your vision your family your journey whatever it is pisces because i feel a lot of great things for you okay so let us just see what spirit has going on with you guys for the month of november 2019 what energy do we have man holding a coin okay so somebody is either trying to invest into you okay i also see angel of love here so invest in you in more than one way okay and the cycle is not closing so if some of you were afraid of this cycle ending or closing i don't see that happening what do we have at the bottom yep we have broken heart i feel like some of you may have been concerned about this situation concluding especially with angel number 555 okay because that typically represents endings as well however i do not feel that you guys have anything to worry about okay confirmation here as well with that nine okay nine being completion so with this being number 11 i feel like you and this person have a spiritual connection to each other okay and that in the event that something were to be seasonal it hasn't expired yet okay so just enjoy the moment while you're in it okay um we know energy changes all the time but don't make your situation negative if it isn't negative you get what i'm saying and if you know that you're not in a lovey-dovey situation you're not thinking about love it's nowhere near your mind then this might not be your reading and we have tons as we know of tarot readers on youtube right so we can always check them out but it says man holding a coin okay so thinking about someone wanting to invest in you maybe someone is currently investing in, in you and showing you the things that you've always wondered about okay being like that mr right for you mr perfect for you is what i'm getting okay with this angel of love just you being able to open yourself up to love again and in a really soft manner okay i'm getting a really soft energy but this person makes you feel secure enough for you to be gently soft okay so let's see that's beautiful pisces i love that i feel like this person is helping you heal whatever broken heart you may have had okay so let's see, messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter Spirit for the month of November 2019. What do we have to say to Pisces? Ooh, okay, so we have Deception and Envy in Reverse. And we have spiritual strength, okay? So, two things that have st stood out to me about these energies so far, okay? Um, for a lot of you, like I said, you may feel really tired where ever you are on your journey, whatever you're going through, okay? It could be, like I said, just the naysayers, the people who are trying to drain your energy or make you doubt yourself, make you doubt your relationship, make you doubt where you stand in life, okay? But they don't know your spirit the way that God does. You have a very strong spirit, okay? And then things with that color green, okay? Green for them, obviously, being envious of your heart, okay? With the angel of love, I just... And then Pisces, you guys know you're so... I don't want to say soft, but very soft is a good word, you know, when people take it the way it's meant to be taken. So you guys do have that very soft and gentle and loving energy to you, okay? And I feel like that's your true strength, okay, honestly. So it's something that might be envied, okay, by people around you. The base chakra is here, okay? So I feel like, yeah, someone around you maybe who has access to your sense of stability, okay is making you feel a little uh, you don't know about them okay we also have power here 
Could be an authority figure, a boss, someone who holds some type of position in your life as to where they have say so over certain things in your life. Okay, this could be a boss. This could be a landlord. Then we have victory and success here, okay? So I feel like sometimes you feel like it's just no winning with this person and with this energy, okay? We also have light here. That's exactly what this person is, um, <laughs> quote-unquote, offended by, is what I just heard. That's an awkward word. Um, the fact that you have so much light inside of you. This person kind of wants to literally break your spirit, whomever this is, because they're intimidated by you, Okay? Yeah, they're intimidated by you. So they're going to continue to put you in treacherous situations or play mind games with you that make it seem like you're in treacherous situations. And it was just 555 five, five again, okay? So I feel like it's someone around you who notices that you're happy or that you have someone who is investing into you, whether that be romantically or whatever the case may be. And they just want to do something to throw off your energy is what I'm getting. They just want to do something to throw off your energy, okay? Yeah, so your destiny is here. And I feel like people can see that you're meant to be someone or that you have a certain type a thing to you so they do things to try to tamper with your foundation mm. that's just evil that's really pure evil there okay evil evil is his one and only name it's real evil all right so let us go on spirit messages Pisces. What do we have to say to them about this person? Because I don't feel like they're going to succeed or be victorious. Because you guys have great things coming for you. And, you know, it comes with the territory. Hey, this, they go, hey. <laughs> That's all I got to say. We got Palace of Wands, okay? So I feel like this is everything you've ever dreamed of, okay? Or either you're thinking about doing something that you're extremely passionate about. And Spirit is giving you the green light saying all things are a go. And if you really do go for it, then... <laughs> your life can transform and I personally am snickering right now because I was just talking to my cousin who is a Pisces about how she's just meant to be on somebody's red carpet and one thing that's standing out to me right now is that red carpet I never quite noticed that before and the fact that this person is on it like waving and so that's what I feel I feel like sincerely oh my god look at the bottom It's just the time. It's just the time, okay? Wheel of Fortune, luck is on your side. Things are going in your favor, okay? Like I said, people can recognize that. They see your destiny. They see the light inside of you, and they want some of that. Notice that destiny card was number 10, right? And the Wheel of Fortune is Roman numeral 10, so, okay? Yep. All right, so we have the two of wands here. Somebody wants you to be indecisive about what investments you should be making, okay? Because it came out in your challenge position. Somebody wants you to be indecisive about the moves that you make and what you're doing, etc. And we have the Empress card here, okay, as your guidance. So I feel like be very careful of smothering. Also be very careful of doing wicked things. To get back at people. Okay. Don't be petty. Is what spirit is saying. Don't be petty. Okay. Don't be petty Pisces. Yep. We have the six of coins here. Okay. And it's in reverse. So I do feel there are situations that you feel you're being taken advantage of. But like I said, do not be petty. Do not stoop. I feel like that's your focus right now. Whether or not you should do that. Whether or not you should unleash the beast. And you know. Let people know who you are. But I'm, I'm just getting that you shouldn't do that. You know how they say don't block your blessings? Like, it's one of those things. Like, don't block your blessings stooping to somebody else's level. You say we have the tree of life. You'll be setting yourself back if you do that, okay? Ooh. Okay. So, yep, we have the seven of swords here. Somebody is jealous okay somebody's intimidated by like i said whatever you have going on we have the ten of cups here so like i said you might have a happy family situation going on a happy romance situation going on um something emotionally fulfilling for you and that person can't stand to see it because maybe they're not in a good place emotionally and like i said this could be a boss this can be a landlord which is odd right like damn are you not getting any 
<laughs> then we have the will fortune okay so it's just time for things to move forward for you luck it seems to be on your side and not on theirs at least that's what they're thinking but they shouldn't be so concerned with what it is that you're doing okay i'm a pisces moon so I, I definitely feel like that you know i feel like people shouldn't be so concerned with what you're doing also i feel like it's related to a committed relationship also could have something to do with a baby or pregnancy maybe even a marriage or just you being an empress in general hell okay you just being an empress okay you have the king of cups energy here so like i said it could have something to do with an emotionally fulfilling situation for you somebody could be um committing themselves to you and a person feels they don't have that in them in their lives right now so you have some you know hating hatery i don't, I don't really know you know there's no real nice way to say it <laughs> okay yep that's just what it is you have a happy family life right now and this person feels like they don't have that See, four of wands in reverse, two of swords here in reverse. I mean, the two of swords upright is being able to see something, but not wanting to see it for what it is. This is, you see it for what it is, you recognize it, you're doing everything in your power to um, not let it phase you or not let it bother you. But you do notice the little, you know, petty things that this person is doing or has been doing. You do notice their little conniving ways, etc., etc. And Spirit just wants you to know everything's going to be okay, okay? Like I said, don't stoop to this person's level. It's not worth it. It's not even worth it. And I want to pull an Angel of Abundance card for you guys as well. Alright, so Spirit, please show us what is coming in in regards to finances for my Pisces. What is coming in? Ooh. In regards to finances, pay yourself first, okay? So, whatever's going on in your life, like I said, if this is a boss or a landlord or whatever, this is Spirit's way of saying set some of your money aside every time you can because this person, you never know how petty they might actually try to get right so it says make because envy will make a person do some crazy shit for real so it says make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid this loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future okay mm. Yep, so this is going to conclude you guys' message. And now my ear ringing too, so that's confirmation for you guys. Just go ahead, make sure you're setting something aside every single time you get paid. Also confirmation for me, because like I said, I'm a Pisces moon. So you got to do what you got to do, period, die, and that's it. Okay, so this is going to conclude you guys' message. Peace and hair grease.